Hello, uh, today I'm going to talk about Carcass and do a little bit demonstrations of what Carcass is capable of. Um, without further ado, what is Carcass? Carcass is um, the next gen uh, Cube Native Java framework, right? So it allows you to uh, run workload, Java workload uh, specifically. Um, it well, Kokus support other programming language as well, but for this talk, um, I'm focusing on on Java application. That's why um, I'm call I'm calling it the next gen Java frameworks, which highly optimized to run on Kubernetes uh, platform. Right. So, um, before we are able to run Kokus. Uh, sample project you need to install a couple of things you need to have JDK 1.8 uh, you need to have Maven as well uh, version 3.5.3 or later you also need Graal VM if uh, if you want to convert your um, Java bytecode into um, native image all right so uh, without further ado you can check out the uh, sample project from this github repository or you can bootstrap it from maven like this so um, to um, uh, fast this thing I have actually uh, check it out in my local machines so if you like uh, if you see this um, basically it's just a, a traditional maven project right it is again traditional maven project no no different with your um, usual project uh, java maven project so um i've even um imported into my uh ide i'm using red hat developer studio here so uh the the project itself um is a jxrs sample applications where it exposes uh, slash hello resource and if you look at the um, POM file you get to see that it is already uh, pre-bundled with uh, Corcus dependency and artifacts um, that is Corcus REST Easy um, REST Easy is um, basically is just uh, JAX RS implementation for Corcus and there is um, a Corcus uh, dash arc basically is a um, CDI reference implementation for uh, Corcus um, also there is um, a unit test right so um, <clears throat> um, as I mentioned earlier on this is uh, is is hundred percent the same with your traditional uh, Java applications or Maven applications so in order to run this you can run Maven package Right, so <clears throat> what it does, it will, it will in um comp compile it and then info the uh, test cases if you have that and then uh, package it. Right, um, it will package into um, uh, a fat jar, so um, it is successfully packaged, successfully built. Then you get to see the new directory called target here, so I can info the fat jar. from here okay so um, it is lightning fast as you can see it is uh, boot up is in less than one second is 0.985 second actually and it exposes uh, uh, port 8080 um, it is actually fully functioning applications um, um, as you can see I am trying to access the resource which is the hello resource within my JAXRS applications and it spits out hello which is expected here hello right so um, the next thing um, I'm going to show you um, a cool feature of Corcus which is hot deployment um, in order to do so um, you need to invoke a slightly different maven command which is maven compile um carcass colon def right 
um, so by invoking these um, it activates the uh, hot deployment feature for uh, Corcus um, so if I to if I if I would try to access the same resource again it spits the hello which is expected and when I try to modify my application um, let's say I'm going to add a new class okay I'm going to have a new class let's say call it uh, okay quote of the day sounds good and then I'm going to um, you know create a public um, static string of array of quotes and then I'm gonna initialize it with um, with couple of quotes maybe quote number one is smile okay and then quote number two maybe cheer for heart it's a good medicine thing yeah looks good all right and then i'm gonna create a simple met uh getter method string method to kind of retrieve the string base on the index okay integer number so I'm gonna do this return quotes number okay so basically what it does it will try to retrieve uh, certain quotes from uh, using its index which is this integer number from this uh, array of string array of quote strings right so I'm gonna save it and I'm going to come back to the getting resource.java and I'm going to create my own uh, resource path in this case sorry so I'm going to rename it maybe quote and of course I have to provide the index number for it right which quote you want to retrieve okay I'm going to oh from sorry from JAXRS I'm going to pull out no and associated with integer number right so next I'm going to call my quote of the day quote of the day get quote which is number so basically it will try to retrieve the quote based on um, the index number given part of the URL so I think this is going to work all right let's try it out so as you can see now I I didn't even reload the applications uh, myself um, I just save it and what's next I'm going to invoke directly without changing anything invoke the URL the same URL directly and yep it's expected if slash hello it will be entertained by this and if I try to hit my new resource which is slash hello slash quota and I'm trying to receive the first quote right it gives me smile right and um, if I try to retrieve the second one it is indeed a cheerful heart it's a good medicine cool so it um it successfully reload without me aware of uh, aware of it right it's, it's very fast it's um is a cool feature um, of Corcus and this is the feature where 
uh, all developers are uh, dream about, right? So it's it's nice features. The the next the, um, which is gonna be the last feature that I'm gonna show you uh, of Corcus is um, let me bring you to the uh, the native page executable, right? So um, under the Corcus IO, there is um, an instructions of how to build a native executable a native image um, you can just follow these things right but um, there is one um, interesting uh, fact on how to activate the, uh, that build process uh, within maven which is to invoke this maven package dash p native um, for this demo I have actually um, um, pre-created myself um, because if you run this um, maven package dash p native it will it will take it will take some time um, at least in my in my laptop it will take about four to five minutes and um, I have pre-created it um, so let me show you where is it now um, so it's under the slash target so if I do a ls on the target so you get to see there is a, a binary file here, all right? Um, but before we go there, I just want to show you the the profile, the native profile, which is if you see this p native is actually coming from the pom file. Let me show you that one. Where is it? Okay, this is the one. So. Uh, this is the native profile right the, the native profile um, what it does is um, when you activate this native profile um, you will try to compile your Java bytecode into uh, a native image using the native image CLI of Graal VM this is where I mentioned earlier on you need to install Graal VM if you want to um, act, uh, run this uh, native profile all right um, it's again take um, a few minutes at, at my machine so that's why I, I'm I pre-created it so um, the next is I'm going to show you the startup time um, that it took right um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm going to compare the bytecode startup time which is the uber uber jar or fat jar you call it whatever uh, startup time versus the binary startup time. So let's let's do it. So first, I'm going to boot up the uh, fat jar first. So um, it will start up in less than one second, which is zero point nine five six. All right, and um, it is fully functioning. If I try to access it from the other terminal, pop eighty eighty slash hello, you get to see the same applications hello, right? So um, it is start up in zero point nine five six second. So now I'm going to show you the time requires to start up the binary applications getting started there you go right there you go it's 0 0.005 second it's close to almost close to 200 time performance increment close to 200 time performance increment this is amazing right um, let me do it again one more time make sure it is um, you know uh, consistent it looks like consistent to me the first time is 0 0.956 the second one is 0 0.987 second all right um, I'm going to info the native one and uh, the sec the second one uh, native um, it raised to 9 0 0.19 second right but again it is 
way way faster uh, compared to um, you know a byte a byte code, right? So it is it is it is indeed um, a you know a breakthrough. I would say that's why uh, uh, we Red Hat we call it um, the next gen Java framework for um, you know Kubernetes. It, it's basically it can be run on on um, any 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 platform, but um, this is very good use case if let's say you want to deploy uh, your f uh, you know function as a service where it requires um, you know a quick um, boot up time in order um, you know to to serve the new functions um, yeah so just to make sure that this is uh, the same applications um, yeah it's it's actually um, resulting the same result right so um, I think this is um, another good feature of Corcus right it um, it has the ability for you to uh, kind of convert um, your bytecode into a native applications uh, native image um, binary application where it has you know a significant performance um, sorry significant uptime um, uh, compared to your bytecode right so I think that's that's all my my presentation for today hope um, this is um, uh, excite you um, as 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 a developer okay thanks for listening bye